Welcome, Empire readers. Come inside and see the Imaginarium. So this is the Imaginarium's volume. Now the volume is the acting space uh, that we have uh, for our performers to come inside and by virtue of all of these cameras placed all around, um, pointing at our actor here, Dawson, who is in fact not Dawson at the moment. He is in fact a, 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 a gladiator. Um, you can probably see, if you come over here, if you come over this way, I can point out um, exactly what I'm talking about. So Dawson is in fact a real actor and uh, this character is uh, that you can see behind you is a digital character, an avatar as we call them. And uh, they are created um, by, by the cameras pointing down at these dots and uh, then taking all Dawson's movements and acting uh, performance and translating it onto a digital character in real time. If you'd just like to demonstrate some of your... Uh, oh. if it's some of your... Uh, moves, yeah, that would be great. Welcome to the control center, where everything is controlled from, up to a point. Actually, the Imaginarium is all about lack of control, but here we go. Let's just take you through it. Um, so Dawson is standing in our volume. There's Joel over there, who's uh, our studio manager and operating our virtual camera, which we'll come on to in a minute. But for the moment, let's go through the process of, of taking an actor and translating them into an avatar character. As you can see here, Dawson's movements are replicated as an electronic skeleton, which is then rigged to a character, an avatar character. Here he is again in our studio. This is the gladiator character. Um, but of course, you don't just want to see a gladiator character wandering around a grey studio. That's not that interesting. I mean, it's quite fascinating if you like gladiators. But actually, the next stage is being able to see the character in an environment, because that's what we all want to do, place characters in environment to tell stories. So at the click of a button, after three, I can take him and put him into another world. Just watch this. One, two, three. And look, there he is. He's landed in a field. Incredible, you may say. Not only that, you don't just have to stick with the gladiator character, oh no. The things that we can do at the Imaginarium include turning gladiators into pixies. On the count of three, watch it happen. One, two, three. <laughs> Once you've established how the body works with the avatar character, we concentrate really on what the actor's doing because that's the most important thing. Because if you don't get it in the room, if you don't get the performance in the room, it's certainly not something you can add on afterward. Now, the great thing about creating uh, characters in our studio is that you can instantly put them into an environment, as I've just demonstrated. But then the great thing about it is that you can start to shoot a scene. And you do that with one of these, a virtual camera. Now, a virtual camera, as you can see, I'm moving it around, moves you around your environment. So you can create all manner of shots, but you don't have to light it or you know, put, put big technocranes up or dollies or anything like that. You can just do it like that. So that's why we like to, to work in this way. You can create stories very, very quickly. So one of the tools that we use here at the Imaginarium is uh, video game engines. Now there are many video game engines, but the one we happen to be using at the moment is by Crytek and it's called Cinebox. So that allows you to have a complete, so have a character roaming around an environment that you have complete control over. We can actually drag and drop elements, any kind of elements of a set. Uh, so for instance, look, we've got trees. We can build an entire forest very quickly. We can take him over here and we have the, the, uh, the old remnants of a castle, for instance. Um, the other great thing is you can change the lighting. You can change the time of day. Have a look at this. What time is it now? It's uh, five o'clock in the afternoon. I'm just going to press this button and it's going to become midnight. 
we can actually compose shots with light in mind, which is, uh, which is a fantastic tool. So, Empire readers, thank you very much for spending your time watching this, for hanging out at the Imaginarium. Uh, listen, come back, there'll be lots more going on in the next few months. To round it off, let's party! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Dawson. Mm -hmm.